Dry ice blasting is a process in which particles of solid carbon dioxide, commonly known as dry ice, are propelled at high velocities to impact and clean a surface. Upon impact, the particles return to their natural state as carbon dioxide gas and thus simply disappear as they clean. From an environmental standpoint, dry ice is made from recycled CO2 that's been recaptured from industrial sources, so you're not producing new CO2. And of course, cleaning with dry ice creates no secondary waste and eliminates solvents, so really it is truly green from start to finish. And dry ice pellets and blocks are easily available just about everywhere in the world. Just call a producer, schedule a delivery, and you get a nice insulated tote filled with dry ice delivered right to your door. The cold jet machines couldn't be easier to set up. Attach compressed air, plug into standard electric, connect your hose, applicator, nozzle of choice, add some ice, and that's it. Then just start cleaning and saving money. Since first being introduced commercially in 1987, dry ice blasting has grown to become a vital part of the industrial cleaning practices in a broad range of industries. Though it is easy to compare the process to sandblasting, dry ice actually removes contaminants differently. Sandblasting is an abrasive process. Although it effectively removes surface contaminants, it also picks away at the substrate, wearing it away over time, altering surface geometries, destroying critical tolerances. Sand particles can also become entrapped, causing critical problems that can shut down the manufacturing process while the problem is solved. Dry ice, on the other hand, disappears as it cleans and will not alter most industrial substrates. On successful cleaning applications, the dry ice pierces the contaminant but sublimates upon striking the underlying substrate. The resulting expansion of the carbon dioxide gas actually lifts the contaminant off from the inside out. The dry ice then disappears without damaging the targeted surface and without creating grit entrapment issues.